I hope you are doing well. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a video for a while now um, because I'm having some difficulties with being consistent lately. So yeah, but it's okay. I am working on it and um, I just have to be patient with myself. Um, but. I am happy that I finally finished to edit this video. <laughs> I was working so long on this video because it was an idea I had to document one day in my life of the summer um, in which I was working at a theater at night here in Verona, Italy and during the day on, yeah, as the title says, on becoming a full-time artist. Um, yeah, I was working very long on this video with the editing and I think this is already the seventh voiceover I'm trying. <laughs> and I'm still not happy with the result, but yeah, I think I'm going to upload this version anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, normally I start my day with checking my mails to see if I have any new commissions or any revisions on current projects and then I dive into my to-do list which is different every day so what you are seeing here in this video isn't necessary what I'm doing every day um, the day I was filming everything um, I was yeah preparing my latest illustration um, for Redbubble and Society6, which are print-on-demand sites. Um, you just upload your artwork and yeah, they sell it. <laughs> they print it on different products, um, such as phone cases, t-shirts and etc. And you'll get a margin, which isn't that much. <laughs> It's a little bit, yeah, it's not that much, but it's okay if you're starting out selling your art um, because they do basically everything, the marketing, the shipping. So it's a great way to start selling your art uh, without investing any money and yeah, get your work out there. so creative when it comes to procrastination <laughs> um, don't get me wrong I needed some food but um, it was also a way to avoid working um, my procrastination has some nice side effects such as a clean apartment or um, a full fridge but um, yeah it doesn't help me much with my productivity but it's okay as I said earlier, I'm working on it and um, yeah, important is that I know I have these flaws and I'm just a work in progress, so it's okay. <laughs> um, 
The illustration I'm working on is uh, Draw This in Your Style um, by the artist Blue Rue Design. I hope I pronounce it right. Um, they're a great artist, so if you want to follow them. Um, yeah, the cool thing about the process of this illustration and also my last illustration um, of the heart is the fact that I'm finally finding the courage to express myself, to follow my own aesthetic, um, because I was comparing myself so much on Instagram to other artists, um, because they were growing so fast, and I thought, well, my art is maybe isn't that appealing or beautiful? So in order to be successful, I need to change my style. Um, which, as you can imagine, isn't a healthy way of thinking. And um, it's it, it was not a mistake. It helped me to recognize um, yeah, my uniqueness and um, I am glad that I'm finally on my own path of finding my own art style. the final result and I don't like it <laughs> but it's okay I don't have to like everything I do it's part of the process but I learned so much so it's okay I I like it but I don't really like it it's it's weird it's weird <laughs> before is that I had a very long break from art in the sense of that I wasn't creating <laughs> and the reasons why oh okay now I'm remembering 13 reasons why um, however <laughs> um, the reasons why I haven't created art for a long time was a mix of mental health issues and um, self-esteem issues but um, thanks to the pandemic I found my way back to art and I'm so happy because art was always since I was a kid a child um, a very important part of my life so I'm really happy that I'm back on my on my journey as an artist. <laughs> The idea for this illustration was or is because this illustration is still 
in progress. Um, it's a woman on her knees um, holding her stomach and the upper part of her body is a cage which is open and on the right side there are some fl birds flying away. Um, you will see it in a few seconds. Um, it's an idea I had for a very, very long time in my mind, so I decided to finally, on this day I was filming everything, to make the sketch. Um, yeah, and I recently also found out that I prefer sketching traditionally instead of making the sketch in, on my iPad. I honestly don't know why, maybe because I feel more comfortable with pencil and paper. I, I really don't know why, <laughs> um, but it's, it's a cool process, it's a cool way of yeah, creating art. I don't know if you guys do it d similar or if you're doing the sketches on your iPad or let me know in the comments how how your process of creating art is. I'm very curious. So here I'm okay, now I'm feeling a bit embarrassed that I put it into the video. <laughs> but as I mentioned earlier, um, I had a really long break from art, so I hadn't worked on my on my craft, on my skills. So I'm lacking a bit of it and to when I need some reference photos like in this case I take photos or a video of myself in the posture in the pose I need and then take a screenshot. Um, I don't know if many artists you know work this way. Um, I know one who who do it it's um, Fran Nerd. Um, she also has a YouTube channel, and yeah, it is, it's cool to see when other artists um, also use the same or similar tools as you. This is the part where I take a photo of my sketch um, in my sketchbook and upload it in Procreate and just to make a sketch of the sketch later. Yeah, I, I know it doesn't make that much sense, but um, it's the way I'm working right now. And yeah, for me, it's a perfect way to create art and cool illustrations so yeah I'm just sh sharing with you my way of working <laughs> I hope I hope I'm inspiring some of you this was the whole reason why I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to inspire other people who felt um, like late and uh, I don't know how to say it like behind in life um, to find the courage to pursue their desires and dreams um, like I did or I'm doing right now so I hope I'm achieving it
so happy when the arena, the theater where I worked, uh, called me to work there again because I've already worked there two years ago and I have to say I really love to work in this creative atmosphere space. Um, it's different creative than mine obviously because we are here in a theater um, but seeing all the other creatives like singers and the orchestra or just seeing creative stuff like the stage elements or the costumes is so inspiring and in my case also nurturing my soul. <laughs> I have to admit that the summer was also a bit of hard because I was basically working two jobs and as you can see also dancing was part of it and <laughs> now it's just a joke. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. It was such a cool summer and I'm already missing it. I'm already feeling nostalgic when I'm seeing the scenes of the arena. <laughs> um, yeah, my part of this whole theater situation was that I helped the stage guys. Okay, guys, I honestly don't know what's the name for them. And I was also looking up in the dictionary and I didn't find a word for them. So let's call them just stage guys, the, the persons who are filling the stage, just acting in the background. Um, if you know the word in English, please let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, this was my part to help the stage guys, <laughs> um, helping dressing them, um, because there were many costumes which were very difficult to close or to dress. So. This was my part and also to take care of the costumes and it was really cool because as you can see here for example it was a torero, torero costume and it was just a pure pleasure to see all these colors and all these fabrics and yeah it was really cool to work there. <laughs> <laughs> 